All right, welcome back. You've got the shoulder mobility. The screen is done in a standing position. So that's at the top of our expression of movement, which is standing. So to do the corrections, we're going to peel it back. You obviously cannot do the standing position of your T-spine movement, internal external rotation, and motor control all work together. So move it, peel it back, go back, we're going to go back down to the ground. And we're going to start our corrections there. Our sequence of corrections is first going to be get T-spine mobility back, okay? Possibly motor control as well, but we're going to go T-spine. Then we're going to hit internal external rotation, make sure that's where it needs to be, get it where it needs to be. And then we're going to tie it together, which is motor control of both thoracic spine and internal and external rotation working together. So we're going to start with rib rolling on the ground. You can see a lot of other videos on this, um, but I'll just take, give it my take on it quickly. And then the positions we can work through are assisted, regular, and resisted, okay? So I haven't figured out again how to do a pattern assisted version of this yet, but I'm going to work on it. When I get that, I'll let you know if it's helpful. So in this position, first I'll go, so in our rib roll, we're going to take either foam roll or yoga block, and we're going to block ourselves off at 90 degrees here. So I'm at 90 degrees. I've taken some, somewhat of my lumbar spine out of it. I put my hand right here on this. I'm going to reach down, grab my ribs, inhale, exhale, and rotate. Go, choke up a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, and rotate. And what I should have said first is the first thing you want to do to go to T-spine problem is get in this position, internal, right here. So get in here and test it. Once you've gone through the rib rolling sequence, a few times, inhale, exhale, pull across. Once you've done that, go back to your retest again. So to know if our shoulder or our, um, our T-spine rotation got better, we're going to go back to the same posture. And what might have been limited before, if we can get to 30 degrees or so, now we have it back. We need to do that on both sides. If we want to, and we have a way to do assisted, I think we are going to loop this in this position. We're going to loop this through, and then our assisted, actually it's going to be like this, is going to come from here. So if you have a cable column, and I'll show you when I get to work. This can be attached here. Now on our rib roll, it's going to assist us in the pattern. That will probably be the first correction if you have that as an option. You could also loop it through the other side. So you could loop this on the down arm and have it assist you. Okay? Down arm, back, through, assist you. Then, once you handle that and work through it, then you're going to go regular rib rolling without. Then you can even go assisted so it would come more from this side and loop through, or resistance. So now we can hit the resisted rib rolling, if you so choose. Those are the steps that you're going to go through in that. So, first correction on shoulder mobility, or if you, you need to do, is rib rolls, which is T-spine. If your T-spine is clear, we're going to move right into internal rotation. Either way, we're going to move into internal rotation, or internal external rotation. First, make sure the T-spine is clear. If it isn't clear by going prone and rotating up, then that's where we need to be is what you just did. If it's already clear on the ground at 30 degrees or more and you've done that in the prone position, we're going to move right to internal external rotation, which is next. 